It's Mirko Voltolini here from Cold Technology. I run uh, Technology Innovation. So the past of NAS, uh, we've been uh, involved uh, and leading uh, in this field uh, for quite a while. Uh, Cold uh, built uh, one of the first, uh, if not the first, uh, network as a service platform in, uh, in 2015. So we've been in, in the market with this capability for uh, now almost close to 10 years. Uh, we've seen significant growth uh, initially in the carrier space, consuming digital services and then now expanding more and more into enterprises. So, so it's been quite a journey. I think initially you could say that NAS was primarily a cold, uh, cold thing in in-house capabilities. Uh, I suppose in our own assets we have a global coverage, uh, uh, more than 30,000 buildings, uh, over a thousand data centers, uh, 250 cloud on ramp locations. So the, our initial focus was to make those locations uh, and points available in digital fashion uh, uh, for underlay connectivity services, so Ethernet, uh, Internet access, uh, uh, DCI, data center interconnect, uh, and uh, cloud connectivity. Uh, what we're seeing now is uh, uh, expansion into uh, more and more locations, so NAS becoming global, uh, with, uh, first of all, ourselves uh, exposing third-party assets uh, through what we call off-net connectivity, so enabling uh, more and more locations, uh, what we call hybrid on net, uh, uh, over 150,000 uh, lease fiber locations, and you can actually expand, uh, uh, still available through our NAS platform, and, and also millions of buildings through lead services from third parties. So we actually expose our own access aggregation capability to uh, uh, the entire world with over uh, 400 uh, uh, carriers, uh, partner carriers. The next steps uh, here, we're going to get into digital uh, collaborations with uh, a number of other carriers where they have uh, uh, started uh, this journey through the MEF uh, API capabilities. Uh, so this means bringing together networks uh, that have uh, complementary coverage uh, and capabilities uh, to enable digital end-to-end -end services. So it's basically it's NAS to NAS, end-to-end uh, -end between multiple different networks through APIs. Uh, we're also going to see more and more uh, NAS use cases de developing uh, with uh, uh, capabilities like multi-cloud uh, underlay. It's uh, it's very easy to build a uh, cloud RNA network through a NAS type of capability. So basically connecting digitally different clouds and endpoints. This could be quite a uh, useful capability for uh, tra transferring AI data in workloads. Uh, 